quirky. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog is going to be a productive day in my life type of video. I do have a couple of things I need to get done today, so I thought I would just film and take you guys along. But before I get into today's video, I want to say a huge thank you to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. If you guys have been following along on my videos for a while now, you guys already know that Anna Luisa is hands down my favorite jewelry brand. And of course, all the pieces I am wearing right now are all from Anna Luisa. But if you happen to be new to my channel, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't heard of Anna Luisa before, they are a sustainable jewelry brand that sell luxury pieces, but without the luxury markups. Their pieces start at just $39 all the way to higher end pieces. And they have a ton of stunning, stunning pieces on their website. So if you're on the market looking for high quality pieces, but without the luxury price tag, I totally recommend checking out Ana Luisa. So one of the things I love most about Ana Luisa is their commitment to sustainability. They are a certified climate neutral company. This means that 100% of their carbon emissions are offset starting from how they source their raw materials all the way to how they dispose of their pieces and they actually release their pieces in limited batches every Friday. So if you think about it, purchasing from Ana Luisa is kind of like purchasing a limited piece and at the same time, no jewelry is being wasted, which I think is so neat. And like I mentioned earlier, all the pieces I am wearing right now are all from Ana Luisa, but I just wanna quickly share with you guys some of the newest pieces I received. The first piece is this necklace set right here. This is called the Michelle, and this does come in three separate necklaces. I really like that this set makes the perfect stack. So if you are in the market looking for an effortless stack, I totally recommend checking out the Michelle set. I think it is so stunning. Again, I like how versatile it is because you can kind of wear each necklace on its own or all together. And the next piece I am wearing are these earrings right here. These are called the Paris earrings. And I actually shared this ring right here in a previous video. I do love the croissant design. So when I saw these earrings online, I just had to grab them. I think they are so cute. I really love that you can wear these earrings with a casual outfit or out for dinner and I am so happy I now have the earrings and the matching ring um, but yeah I think these are super cute and the last piece I want to share with you guys is this bracelet right here this is called the Carly bracelet it definitely looks so luxurious but without the luxurious price tag I think this is such a 
classy and dainty bracelet perfect for everyday wear i have been wearing this every single day but yeah that is all the newest pieces i received from anna luisa and of course i am obsessed with all of these pieces they are actually currently running a sale on their website right now for a buy one get one 40 percent off so it's a great time to pick up some new pieces if you are on the market looking for some jewelry and i think it's a great time to pick up pieces with valentine's around the corner i think these would make great gifts for yourself for your loved ones but yeah as always i will have everything linked in my description below so definitely check that out but yeah today is saturday and as you saw from some of the earlier clips i just filled up my gallon water bottle i have been pretty good with getting in my water intake every day. I also made myself some of Teamy's detox tea. I did share a couple of videos ago that I am doing the 30 day detox and so far I'm feeling great. I actually also got back into intermittent fasting and I'm actually thinking of doing a another what I eat in a day video since it's been a while since I've done one of those. So let me know if that's something that you're interested in seeing. I also did get in my workout this morning. I did do the 12 3 30 workout and as of lately i have been really enjoying watching a show while i'm just walking on the treadmill i just finished watching archive 81 on netflix and it was so good if you are into thriller or horror type of shows i totally recommend it it starts off kind of slow but once you get into like episode four or five it just gets crazy crazy but yeah i did just finish that show and i'm actually looking for a another show to watch so if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments i have a couple of errands to run i am actually going to run to trader joe's right now to pick up some groceries for the week so yeah i will check in with you guys when i get back all right so it's been a little bit later me and my fiance were just running errands all day today but we just got back home we did go to trader joe's to pick up some groceries so i'll just quickly show you guys what we picked up for the week and again my fiance did have jaw surgery a couple of weeks ago so for the most part he still is on a all liquid diet so we have just been having lots of soups lately so you'll see that in a bit we did pick up quite a bit of soups at trader joe's but i'll just go ahead and get right into this haul so the first soup we picked up is this kettle cooked chicken soup I picked up some organic low-fat yogurt in French vanilla. I picked up some green juice. I think this is the only green juice they have at Trader Joe's in this size, and I do like to get the big bottles. I picked up some frozen chicken breast that I'm gonna try and meal prep some dinner for myself later this week. I picked up some baby carrots, some cheese, and then the next thing I picked up are these frozen chana masala dishes. And I did see this recipe on Trader Joe's. It's a soup recipe. You basically mix this with some tomato soup. I did pick up some tomato soup right here. So I picked up this creamy tomato soup and I guess you're just supposed to combine the two. I'm gonna try and make it for tonight's dinner. So I'll let you guys know how that ends up tasting. Picked up some frozen blueberries. I picked up some grilled chicken strips. I like throwing these into my salads. And then we picked up this New England clam chowder. And then going on to the next bag, I just picked up some eggs. I picked up some oat milk for myself. And then I picked up this lemon arugula basil salad kit. I've actually never tried this before, but it sounded really good. It has arugula, carrots, almonds, and Parmesan cheese with a basil lemon vinaigrette. And I think this would be really good with this chicken that I picked up. And then I picked up this other salad kit. This is the sesame crunch chopped salad kit. I also haven't tried this before, but this has bok choy, cabbage, carrots, sesame sticks, cashews, nori seaweed flakes with a toasted sesame ginger vinaigrette that sounds super delicious and then i just picked up some bananas i picked up two onions for the week oh i did pick up some of this face wash with tea tree oil and i've actually been using this face wash for years now and i do really like it from trader joe's this is like about six bucks and this lasts me and my fiance a very long time so i think it's such a good deal and then I just picked up some heavy whipping cream and I picked this up to go along with that 
chicken soup I shared earlier. I was trying to find it. And the last thing in this bag is just some dark chocolate. Lately, I have been loving ending my nights with some dark chocolate. And then moving on to the last bag I have here, I just picked up some spinach. I picked up this butternut squash soup. And then I picked up this corn poblano chowder. This is gonna be for my fiance for one of his weeknight dinners since he can only eat soup. We picked up some peanut butter. And then I picked up some grape tomatoes. And then we picked up a big tray of strawberries. This was, I think, about $7, which isn't too bad for this entire tray. This is 32 ounces, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. And then the last thing from Trader Joe's is just some milk for my fiance, since he doesn't like oat milk. And that's everything that we got from Trader Joe's. This did come out to about $100, which I don't think is too bad. This does last us about a week and a half. And then I did also go to Home Goods, so I'll just show you what I picked up there. I picked up just the coffee syrups. I really like getting these skinny syrups at Home Goods because they are such a great deal there. This entire bottle is only $4. It has zero calories, zero sugar, and I just got the vanilla almond flavor. And I also got the salted caramel flavor. I do like this a lot. And what I actually do is I pour a little bit of the syrup with my oat milk into my frother. And then that's what I pour on top of my coffee. So good. Yeah, that is everything. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly put this all away and I will check in with you guys later. update on Sparky. He actually developed a rash a couple of weeks ago and I did post on my Instagram stories just asking for natural remedies and so far so good. I've actually been using a mixture of apple cider vinegar and some water and just have been spraying it near his tail area and I did also order this silver spray that was actually recommended to me by Michelle who's also here on YouTube and that has honestly helped a lot. I will say though that Sorky is really smart and yesterday he actually figured out how to take off his cone so we can't leave him alone without him taking this off. I do think I need to order another cone on Amazon, but hopefully if all goes well, he can finally have this cone off next week because he is just miserable with it on and I just feel so bad for him. But yeah, there's a little update on Sparky. All right, so the next thing I need to get done today, you may have noticed earlier, are my nails. I'm actually going to be putting on these right here. I did receive these from Glamnetic a couple of weeks ago and I think these are really cute. These are in the style creme de nude. It did take me about 10 minutes last time to pop on their nails. So hopefully I can get this on just as quickly, but yeah, I will go ahead and put these on and I will show you guys how they come out. how my nails came out I think they're pretty cute I just I don't know how I feel about the length I have never had my nails this long before so I am deciding whether or not I should cut them but I'm scared I'm gonna mess up the nail I don't know let me know in the comments what you think I should do but overall I think they are pretty cute I think I'm gonna sit on it for like a day and see whether or not I will cut them or not
ready to just put some dinner together. Again, I'm going to be making that chana masala tomato soup. I'm also gonna throw in some cilantro for topping and whatever left of this Parmesan cheese we have, but I'm gonna just go ahead and quickly put this together and then I will come back once it's all ready. So here is that chana masala tomato soup. It smells super good. I'm just gonna go ahead and try it really quickly. I did top it off with some Parmesan and cilantro. Yeah, let's go ahead and try this out. Mmm. Okay, that is really good. I'm actually a little bit sad I didn't pick up naan earlier while I was at Trader Joe's because I think that dipped in this soup would be so good. But yeah, this is really good. If you are on a crunch for time and you're looking for a quick dinner to put together, this literally only requires three ingredients. So yeah, definitely recommend trying this. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I will check in with you guys later. All right, so it's been a little bit later. We did just finish having dinner, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video. I'm probably just going to be spending the rest of the evening watching Netflix with my fiance and Sparky, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. And again, I just wanna quickly remind you guys to go ahead and check out Ana Luisa. They do have a great sale going on right now for buy one piece, get the second piece for 40% off. So it is a great time to pick out new jewelry, especially with Valentine's around the corner. I think these pieces would make a great gift for yourself or for your loved ones. And again, all that will be listed in my description below. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.